yeah, continuing with our series of videos uh, covering the Get Started with Your Site web part on SharePoint 2013. In this video, we're going to talk about the one in the middle called Add Lists, Libraries, and Other Apps. Discover new tools to get things done. So in our um, SharePoint 2013 out-of-the-box site, what I'm going to do is add an app from the SharePoint store. And when you click on that tile, it opens up a page called Your Apps. And over on the left is the link to the SharePoint store. Now, behind the scenes, your server admin needs to enable some uh, things. And we're going to have a video to cover what to do from the server side. But for an end user, once all of that server um, configuration is completed and you have access to the SharePoint store, you'll be able to follow along with this video. Now, there are a number of free apps and paid for apps out in the SharePoint store. And uh, some are lists, some are libraries, some are just web parts. So I'm going to look for the one from Bamboo called World Clock and Weather. So I'll up in the search box, I'll just enter Bamboo to a search and you can see we've got a few web parts out in the SharePoint store continually to work on some more, but right now um, our freebie is the World Clock and Weather app, and we've got the app for the Quick Add for Lists and the Calendar Plus app. So let's go ahead and uh, tap into the World Clock and Weather. It's free. We're going to go ahead and add it. And this is a couple of questions that come up whenever you add an app from the SharePoint store. Um, the view the terms and conditions and the privacy statement and you'll see that on most any app that you add from the SharePoint store. So go ahead and trust it and it takes a minute to load up and you'll see it's sort of grayed out while the app is installing and downloading to your site but it only takes about a minute and once it's complete it will change from that bluey gray to uh, enabled. So now once the app is enabled, just go back to our home page and we're going to add the World Clock and Weather app to the home page. Now, we'll go ahead and edit the page and SharePoint out of the box is pretty bland. Um, this one column layout is kind of dull in my opinion. So we're going to change it up a little bit and change it to a two column layout. And that will give us a nice um, area on the left for our normal web parts. And you notice none of the web parts that were there ever disappeared. They, they remain, they just get repositioned. And now we have a nice blank web part zone over here so we can add our um, world, part, world clock and weather app to that web zone. Now with your cursor in the zone, uh, click on the insert tab and go into the add app part menu and there's our world clock and weather and that's our app by bamboo so go ahead and click add and that will add up the web part to your um, to your page now you notice my window security came up that will come up um, sometimes sometimes it doesn't but most of the time it does just to um, validate that you are the person that has the trustworthiness of that app to to add to your site so notice that it comes in now. All right, so we can save that page. And now we can configure the web part. Typically, when we add the web part to your site, it's using the rest in Virginia uh, location for the weather because that's where our headquarters is for Bamboo Solutions. But we can go ahead and kill that. And we'll search for another city. And we'll do a search and once it's located puts it on the left hand side and you just click the check mark and that brings it to the right hand side and we'll add another city or two uh, how about Miami Florida there we go and we'll do some Paris France and I think three is fine and we'll click Save. Now, this puts those locations right into the app, and it's got the, um, the name of the city, a preview of the weather, and you can change that. I didn't change it when I was in there, but you can change it to Fahrenheit or 
um, Celsius. And it also includes that, I clicked it so you can see what happens, that little arrow right here shows an extended forecast for that particular city for the next five days. So if you want to take a peek ahead at what's happening in that city's weather forecast, you have that ability right there. So it looks like Miami is the best weather for the next few days here in, in 2015. So it also gives you the date and time listed at the bottom of the web part as well. So that's how to install an app from the App Store very quickly and easily using the link from this web part called Get Started With Your Site. Now remember, this is a web part that is easily found either through the gear menu. It's under the um, menu that says Getting Started takes you to that getting started page where the app is loaded up and of course it, it's a web part so um, if somebody inadvertently removes it from the home page but you really do like having it there you could go back and get it from or you can use those tiles from that getting started page or you can edit the page that you're on and put it right back because it is a web part so I will put my cursor inside that web part zone and I'll do an insert and this is a web part that um, you'll find under the media and content category. And once you get there, you'll see it's the second one in the list. Get started with your site, add it back to the page, and uh, there you go. So we've added the web part to um, the page. Now we want to shift it and just pick it up and move it up to the top of your page. And sometimes that drag and drop is a little tricky. You just have to make sure that you grab the entire web part with your mouse while you drag it and drop it. And we've put it back in place. And now we can save the page. And our city's weather forecast is sitting there and from the Bamboo's World Clock and Weather web part. So there we go. How to add an app from the SharePoint store.